Okay, in this example, we're going to be looking at solving simultaneous equations where one is a linear equation and one is nonlinear. And we would typically solve simultaneous equations like this using substitution. So we have our first equation, 2x squared minus xy minus y squared equals 36. We'll label that equation 1. And our second equation, x plus 2y equals 9. We're going to do a substitution where we take the linear equation and substitute it into the nonlinear equation. But to do so, we're going to rearrange first so that we get x as the subject. So x equals 9 minus 2y. We'll call that equation 2. So we are going to substitute equation 2 into equation 1. So wherever I see an x in equation 1, I'm going to replace it by 9 minus 2y. And the goal of doing that is to make this equation have one single variable. So if we swap the x's for the y's, there'll no longer be any x's and there'll only be y's. So we get 2x squared becomes 2 times 9 minus 2y squared. When you substitute things in, make sure you always use brackets. Minus xy, so minus 9 minus 2y times y. And then we have the minus y squared equals 36. From here, it's just a case of expanding and simplifying. So we'll leave the 2 on the outside. We have a square bracket. Square the first term, we get 81. The product of the two terms in the bracket is negative 18, but we double that, so that's minus 36y. And then we square the second term, it's minus 2y. That gives us positive 4y squared. Expanding the brackets in the middle, we get 9 times y, which is 9y, but it's negative to start off with, so that's minus 9y. And then we have negative 2y times y is negative 2y squared, but we're subtracting that, which makes it positive 2y squared. Then we have an extra minus y squared, and it equals 36. Next up, we'll expand out these brackets. First, we have 2 times 81. That's 162. We have 2 times negative 36y. That gives us negative 72y. And we have 2 times 4y squared, which gives us plus 8y squared. We'll leave all the other terms as they are for this line. Next up, we'll simplify. We've got 8y squared plus 2y squared minus 1y squared, which gives us 9y squared. We've got minus 72y minus 9y, which gives us minus 81y. And we've got 162 on the left. And if we subtract 36 from both sides, that would give us 126 on the left-hand side and 0 on the right-hand side. Conveniently, there's a factor of 9 in all three terms. So dividing by 9 gives us y squared minus 9y plus 14 equals 0. And this quadratic factorizes to give us y minus 2 times y minus 7. And if we solve this equation, we get y equals 2 or y equals 7. So we now have our y values, but for each y value, there'll be a corresponding x value. To find the x values, we can substitute each value of y into either of these equations or even a rearranged version as we've got here. In general, though, it's usually far easier to substitute into the linear equation, particularly if you've rearranged one. So I'm going to sub y equals 2 into the equation that I've labelled 2. That's this one here. That gives me x equals 9 minus 2 lots of 2, which is 5. Then we'll substitute the other value in. So we'll sub y equals 7 into equation 2. That gives us x equals 9 minus 2 times 7, which is negative 5. Finally, we'll make it explicitly clear that these two solutions come in pairs. So we get x equals 5 paired with y equals 2. Think of them as pairs of coordinates, if you like. 
and x equals negative 5 paired up with y equals 7. Okay, here's a problem for you to have a go at for yourself then. Pause the video and then come back and check your solution against mine. Welcome back, here's my solution. Well done if you got it right, if not, I'll go through how I got my solution now. So we'll start by labelling our equations. We have 2x squared plus xy plus y squared equals 22. We'll label that equation 1. And we have x plus 2y equals 5. We'll rearrange that before labelling to get x equals 5 minus 2y. And we'll call that equation 2. Then we'll sub equation 2 into equation 1. That means replacing everywhere we see an x with 5 minus 2y. So we get 2 lots of x squared, which becomes 2 lots of 5 minus 2y, all squared, plus x times y, which becomes 5 minus 2y times y, plus y squared equals 22. Next up, we'll expand out these brackets here. We'll leave the 2 on the outside. We're going to get 5 squared, which is 25. Multiplying these together gives us negative 10y, then double it, that gives us minus 20y. Squaring minus 2y gives us positive 4y squared. Then we'll expand these brackets, it's already positive, we're going to do 5 times y, so plus 5y. Then we've got minus 2y times y gives us minus 2y squared. And we have plus y squared equals 22. Next up, we'll multiply out the bracket by multiplying by 2. That gives us 50 for the first term. 2 times negative 20y is negative 40y. 2 times 4y squared is positive 8y squared. And then we'll leave everything else on this line the same. Then we'll simplify. We've got 8y squared minus 2y squared plus y squared gives us 7y squared. We've got minus 40y plus 5y gives us minus 35y. And then we've got 50, and if we subtract 22 from both sides, we get plus 28 on the left and 0 on the right. Everything divides by 7, so we get y squared minus 5y plus 4 equals 0. And then we can factorise to get y minus 1 in a bracket and y minus 4 in the other bracket. That gives us solutions of y equals 1 or y equals 4. Then we need to take our y values and find out the corresponding x values. I'm going to sub them into equation 2. That gives me x equals 5 minus 2 times 1, which gives me 3. Then I'm going to sub y equals 4 into equation 2. That gives me x equals 5 minus 2 times 4, which is negative 3. Don't forget to pair up your solutions. So we've got x equals 3 paired with y equals 1. And we've got x equals negative 3 paired up with y equals 4. 